So, uh... <laughs> episode 15 of The Bad Batch was, um... Interesting. Uh, so... Episode 15 is called Return to Camino, and as the title suggests, we do make a return to Camino. Uh, because you guys seen the last episode of the Bad Bats, so you will know that Hunter got, uh, captured, uh, while they were trying to, uh, rescue Gregor, which would be, like, the goofy clone that we see in, like, Rebels. And so, uh, this episode, I gotta say, was, out of all the episodes since, like, episode one, felt like the most Star Wars in this se season. So, pretty much, uh, while, uh, uh Crosshair was taking, uh, uh, Hunter to the training center. Because essentially that's where he uh, goes. Hunter realizes that all the Kaminoans and the clones are uh, are pretty much nowhere to be found. That the only clone that can be found on that planet is Crosshair. So it confer like Crosshair or er, Hunter says they're taking out everybody off world. And then, uh, Crosser says, why do you care? You left. And we see and throughout the episode that Crosshair finally decides to tell the Bad Bats in general why he is targeting them. But uh, before I get to that point, I want to rewind a bit. Because the Bad Bats, the the ones that are rescuing uh, Hunter from Crosshair and the Empire, they are uh, going on Camino, going to this space that Omega tells tells them that uh, it's only activated if they're like extremely close to the water, and that's Lamo say I forget how to pronounce her name, but. That was the female Kaminoan that we see heavily in the show, Slayer. And we discovered that how Omega is older than the Bad Batch. And that that's where the Bad Batch and Omega, Clone Force 99, was made. And, well, except in all of, like, uh, uh, Echo, because, well, he was a reg before uh, the Separatists captured him. But, um... Uh, yeah, so, before I continue, I do like when we s go onto the planet Camino, uh, we get the, uh, same music that, that we got from Attack of the Clones, the, that movie Attack of the Clones will be episode two, when Obi-Wan goes to Camino, that, that, thought that was a really cool, uh, throwback, like, wow, thank you Dave Filoni for that, because that was really cool. And, uh, and we got, like, the hint of the music in, uh, f like, one more time after we see land on Camino. So, the Bad Bats were saying, uh, uh, Omega, you stay here with a robot. Because the, uh, same robot that I believe is the same robot that helped Fives. Uh, finance and hybrid ship. Uh, I think that's the same robot. He stays back with uh, 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 Omega, and uh, they tell Omega contact Rex after going back to the ship. And of course, Omega doesn't do that. Which, if she did, then the how the uh, episode would have ended would have been different, in my opinion. And, uh, so, besides doing what Hunt, uh, the Bad Bash said, we see some, like, uh, uh, of those dark troopers that, uh, we see Luke Skywalker destroy in, uh, uh, 
season two of the Mandalorian, but it doesn't look as advanced. It kind of looks like really early stages, which kind of makes me wonder if they were planning to use the uh, Dark Troopers as droids to begin with. Vampire, I mean. Why did they let humans do that? Become Dark Troopers? Like Rogue One. Because we do see the Dark Troopers in Rogue One. And that's what the first time the audience were introduced to uh, Dark Troopers. And you can tell they were human. So my even in Star Wars Battlefront 2. The Dark Troopers, you can tell, are supposed to be human, not droids. So, why, like, did the Empire make them uh, droids do humans? So, they have to do back to droids. Like, like I can kind of get why they did, like, from human to droid. Because of the human weakness. But why... Droid to human. I'm kind of confused about that. That's really my own, like, really my major criticism in this episode. I cannot wrap my head around that. So if someone can explain to me in the comment section down below, that would be greatly appreciated. So the Bad Batch, uh, are reunited, except for Omega, which she later gets cap. uh, I don't want to say captured, but she gets found. And then the droid knocks the, uh, storm, or, I'm guessing they're stormtroopers now. Knocks that out, them out. And, uh, before the dark troopers gets, uh, unleashed on the bad bats, we get this really, uh, intense scene between Crosshair and the bad bats. Hunter's the one who's talking for the bad bats, but still. And this is the part where I was referring to about how, why Crosshair is trying to kill, or I shouldn't say try to kill, but try at least go after his brothers, the other members of the Clone Force 99. And it's because he feels abandoned. And Hunter says, but you tried to kill us, we didn't really, like, you tried to kill us. Left us no choice but to leave you behind. He said, and I had a choice, which kind of makes me wonder if the Bad Bats stayed on Kamino, like what, episode 2 or 3? Could they have saved Crosshair? But I guess the whole uh, uh, Rex cameo would have had to come into play sooner. And the anticipation, I guess, if there was any anticipation about, uh, do they have the inhibitor chip? Wouldn't have not been as uh, built as uh, when we saw Rex when in whatever episode we saw Rex in. Because that was the same episode that we saw the uh, inhibitor chips getting taken out of the Bad Bats with the exception of like Hunter. And so we get this awesome action scene with the Bad Bats. Uh, Omega eventually hops in. Because, uh, yeah, the robot does make a good point. Maybe did too many, uh, droids than should have. Guess that also, that, on top of Omega Knight listening to the Bad Bats, that ultimately, uh, bites the Bad Bats in the butt in a bit. But, yeah, the Bad Bats... They all take out the droids. And then Hunter says, and before I go to uh, what Hunter says, this, like when Hunter and uh, uh, Crosshair were talking, I do see what, uh, where Star Wars theory meant by, it felt like similar vibes to like how Luke and Vader were in Return of the Jedi. The vibes of, like, how, like, Darth Vader was trying to get lure Luke to the dark side while Luke was trying to lure Anakin 
out of Vader, if that makes sense. Lured Vader back to the light side so he can reclaim Anakin's, the title of Anakin Skywalker. And, uh, so Crosshair makes this plea again saying, We can help you. It's not too late. Please. And then Cross, we can't, is your heaven and heaven trip? This is not you. And then that's when, uh, Crosshair says, I took my and him with your chip out a while back. And I was like, So you just been, was like the past, like, wait, 14 episodes, you just been a jerk? You just been an asshole? And, uh, so, like, I was like blown away with that. And then, Hunch has to, like, well, uh, stun, uh, uh, Crosshair, because Crosshair is probably kill, uh, him. And they tried to escape, taking, a uh, Hunt, uh, Crosshair with them. But this is where the Empire starts blowing up the, uh, cloning facility. And the music, like, oh shit, the music, it just got real up in here if it, if we can't, we're not seeing it. Right on the screen. We're not seeing it right on the screen. Like, if what we see on the screen is in uh, 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 any hint, the music definitely. Like, holy shit. And pr that's pretty much once the ep episode ends. Debatedly, this may have been the darkest episode since, like, the first, maybe the second episode. And this episode felt, outside of the first episode, felt the most Star Wars-like, in my opinion. And... This is, uh... This episode is really interesting. And it's part, uh, part one of... It's part one of the season finale. Next week's episode is season, uh, part two. And then I've heard there's going to be a season two that's coming out next year. So I'm very much intrigued with how next week's episode is going to happen. I wonder if Hunt, if uh, uh, Crosshair will truly switch back and join his brothers in the fight against the Empire, or if. He's going to try to kill his brothers, and by doing so, they will have to kill uh, Crosshair. Or will Omega get killed in the Crosshair? Who knows? But one of the Bad Batch, I believe, like members of the Bad Batch, I do believe will die at the end of season one. If they don't. I'll be so surprised. I'll be so surprised. But that's just me. Anyways. That's my thoughts of uh, the episode. Outside of the whole uh, Dark Trooper thing that I mentioned. I really have no criticism towards this uh, episode. So... And that definitely makes me intrigued for next week's episode. So, what do you guys think about uh, The Bad Bats, episode 14, which is called Return to Camino? Do you guys like it? Dislike it or anything about it? Let me know. I got my section down below. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. And if you got one another, make the force with us all.